this is Joe Henderson again and I am going to do a little tutorial about making a wooden planter for uh, Corticos Japanese black pine in this wooden container here and then I'm going to finish it up with a burning technique called shashugi ban. The wood that I'm going to use for the container is uh, cedar. So one of the things that I want to show you is that I want to make this very simple and get it done quick and so you can see I got a square, a tape measure, a driver, and a uh, battery operated handsaw. So here we are ready for assembly. Uh, I did make one final detail, which I think is nice. It's kind of a, not at all like a dovetail, but kind of like a dovetail. Um, I carved out, I cut out these little uh, square pieces off the corner so that it locks in a little better. Um, all I did was to mark it. I just held up the board and marked it with a pencil. So next I'll be uh, assembling the box and uh, putting the floor in and the supports and um, we should be ready to go to burn. So as you can see here, I pre-drilled the holes for the screws that will go in. So our box is done. Uh, we've got a lot of space in the bottom for air space to uh, percolate up into the tree roots. And um, so we've got our bottom and we have our sides. And now we're gonna just uh, take our little plumber's torch and uh, start burning away. Whenever you're working with fire, it's always a good thing to have a fire extinguisher and use it if you have to. It's all torched around. Um, I swept it off. Uh, but not very briskly, um, but it still has a really nice dark patina. Uh, you can see the grain is raised a little bit. Um, see, still charcoaly on the outside. Uh, ready to repot my uh, Japanese black pine. It's larger than I thought it was, and I'm glad I made a bigger box for it, um, as it was in the previous video. And uh, so we're going to break apart the old one so we don't disturb too many roots and then we'll disturb roots. So I put it on a uh, turnstile so it make it easier. Um, the old pot is quite old. I uh, left the imprint in. And we're going to try to just loosen up some of the roots if we can but not do too much damage. I want to make some space for these roots in the new soil. That's why I want to get it. loosen up all this old stuff. And I clean up any damaged roots that I might have made. I think that's about as much as I'm going to take off. So, this is our new box for it, new planting container. Uh, I'm gonna set this off to the side. <laughs> Now's a good time if we want to reposition. Out a look and it's new home. So far, it looks like it's standing a little proud, which is fine. So let's move it off to the one side, and then we're going to backfill. So this is the final product. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. <laughs>